Hi everyone, welcome back to Melissa's kitchen table. I was just going to do a quick haul for you today. This is from Whole Foods. I do have two items over here that are not, but everything else is. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the meat and dairy so I can get that put away. So right over here we have pepper jack cheese from Pineland Farms. It was on sale for $7.99 a pound and I got a half a pound. Uh, tonight we're going to be doing hamburgers on the grill, so I thought that would be good to use for that. Uh, I got some Milano grated Parmesan. Parmesan cheese was on sale for $7.99 a pound, so ours came to $3.16. I'm going to be using this in a recipe later this week. I got some half and half. That was $1.79. I got some sour cream, which normally I would not buy from Whole Foods because you get it cheaper at a regular store. Um, they didn't have their brand. They were all out. This was $2.79. You could get that cheaper anywhere else, but I didn't feel like running to a second store just for that. Then over here, this is going to be for the sweet potato, potato salad. This is just a couple slices of smoked bacon, North Country Smokehouse. It was $8.99 a pound. Again, it's only two thick slices, so it was $1.26. I figured it would be easier just to buy that than to take out a whole pound of bacon and defrost it. I really, I don't have any plans the rest of the week for bacon. And then we have two pork loin boneless chops. These were, again, $7.99 a pound. I got two of them. They're very thick cut, so they were $7.35. This and the Parmesan cheese are going to be for a stuffed pork chop, pork chop Parmesan. Um, I'll be doing that video later in the week, and I'll be posting it. And then I only got these because they were on sale. They're chicken breast, boneless, skinless. They were on sale three ninety nine a pound. I've never seen them quite that cheap. Um, they're just over a pound, so that was four fifteen. Okay, so for produce, they had an excellent sale on grapes today. For organic green grapes, red grapes, and um, black seedless grapes, they were only $1.69 a pound. I, that is just a great price. I've never seen it that cheap before. So we got some black grapes, and I did pick up a big bunch of the red grapes. I was trying to get all three, just a small pack of all three, uh, but the green grapes really weren't that good. They were kind of rotten looking. I, I didn't care for the way they looked. Now, these grapes right here, the red grapes, I think they were 2.4 pounds, so it came to $4.06. And then these grapes were 1.34 pounds, so that came to two twenty six. That is an excellent price. I've never gotten them organic that cheap. Then I just picked up a thing of raspberries. These were also on sale for $2.99. Now their strawberries were on sale for $3.99, the organic ones. But they had these. They were local from the Pell Family Farm. And as long as they're non-GMO, we're pretty good with that. Um, they were $4.99 a pound. They just looked so so much better, so much better, if you could see, than the other types that they had there. These just look all red, very ripe, not rotten. They looked really good. Okay, so over here I got two organic peaches that were on sale for $2.49 a pound, so these came to $1.17. And then when I got home, I realized this one has a blemish on it but just cut that off that's no big deal I got a thing of green onions and you could hear Edie in the background meowing I got a thing of shredded carrots this is gonna be for um, the lo mein noodles I've posted that recipe already I got a small thing of broccoli there's just three little heads about this size 
That was on sale $1.49 a pound. It was local, so that came to $1.62. And let's see, we got a thing of cauliflower. This was on sale two for five, so I got one of those, so that was two fifty. Okay, I found the green onions were $1.49. And then I got this one pound package of baby kale. I've been getting um, the baby spinach from Costco or BJ's, but this was on sale for $5.99, which is normally $7.99. Uh, so I figured we'll do kale this week instead, and I think I'm gonna put some of this in the stuffed pork chop as well. Uh, normally, it's only $3.99 at BJ's, or $3.99 at Costco, and $3.69 at BJ's. So normally I would get the spinach there, but I figured we'll give that a try. And then over here, again for the pork chop, I needed some breadcrumbs. And for another recipe I'll be doing for the sweet corn risotto, I'll be doing this week. I just got a thing of arborio rice. We don't eat a lot of that, and it is quite expensive. I think to buy a prepackaged bag, it was like $7.99, and we don't need that much of it, and I don't need to buy that much, so I bought it in bulk. This was $1.94, and this is enough for two meals for us, if not more. And then I did pick up some hoisin sauce. I got two jars of it, and normally I would only buy one jar, but they were on sale $2.99. So I figured I might as well get the two of them now. That way I don't have to buy them later. And then these two items I did not get at Whole Foods. I got 100% grapeseed oil. It's non-GMO, so I'm good with that. That I did get at BJ's, and I think that was $10.99 or $11.99. And I need that to finish the pickled eggplant that I'm going to be doing. And then yesterday, we went to the... Um, we have a uh, local... Uh, pet food store and uh, Thomaston Feed. It's a holistic place. And it's a family owned business so it's not like a pet smart or anything. And they're extremely nice. They're very friendly, very knowledgeable. They always help us. Um, and somebody, I'm not sure exactly who has chickens, so a lot of times they're selling their eggs. So it's, this is just the container they come in. They're not actually Farmer Doyle's eggs. But I just wanted to show you some of these because I have never seen eggs this size in my life. You could just look at this. This one compared to what I consider a typical egg. That is a huge, huge difference. That one almost looks like a goose egg. I can't believe how beautiful these eggs are. And they were $2.95 for the whole dozen. That amazes me. So I hope you liked our haul today. And I'm going to be doing quite a few recipes from what we picked up here. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.